Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richie Plunkett from The Puppet and Geek. Hope you guys are well and had a great weekend. I'm here with another review. This time it's from WD, and it's a WD My Clown. Now this over here is a cloud. This, I've, I've took it from the sky, and it's here in my hand in the shape of a hard drive. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get set up, to set up your own personal cloud with the My Cloud storage system by WD. First off, if you're one of my subscribers, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. Now, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe as well for more great content. If you're here on this video because you're looking at purchasing a MyCloud storage system or you already got one and looking at how to set one up, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set one up. Now, personally, I actually own a DL2100, I think it's called, um, MyCloud, or no, a Cloud uh, by WD Hardware System. It's a really great, robust system. However, something a bit more personal and something for you, if you're looking to get something to start out with, I highly recommend the MyCloud storage system as it's just really compact, really easy and pretty simple. This is the two terabyte version. Uh, it comes in different sizes as well. So if you recently picked up your MyCloud, the first thing you want to get out of this box is this little paper right here. This is pretty much all you need to get set up and this is just basically the quick guide and it's that simple to get set up with the MyCloud system by WD. So the first thing you wanna do is grab the ethernet cord out of the box, which is this black cord right here, and plug it into the back of the MyCloud hard drive. So once you've connected the cord to the MyCloud, you wanna connect the other end to your router. Once you've connected to your router, you can power the MyCloud by plugging in the power into the back and plugging it into the wall. So after that, once you're all set up and connected, you wanna head over to your computer and go to your browser and go to mycloud.com slash setup, which will then go through the setup wizard to get you started with your MyCloud drive. Whoosh. Okay, so what you wanna do right now is open your preferred browser. I'm using Chrome for this. And from here, you wanna type in mycloud.com slash setup, hit enter, and then this should go to a website where it will start to detect our MyCloud device. So it's searching for our device. We've plugged everything in. So it should detect it with no problems. Now, if your device doesn't show up here, what you want to do is disconnect the MyCloud power and reconnect again. Now from here, if you're on Chrome and you have autofill um, ticked, all you have to do is just type in your first name and then Chrome will spell out the rest uh, unless you don't want to put your real details. But I highly recommend doing that so that way you can register the product and you know have your warranty and whatnot. Now our device name, so this is a cloud. We're going to call it cloud. I spelled cloud wrong. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna register my MyCloud device just because I do have to return this MyCloud. But if you uh, if this if you do have MyCloud and you did purchase it, definitely register because you do have you know the warranty and all the customer support with WD as well. Obviously, make sure you turn on update my MyCloud device automatically because it is recommended to do that. As MyCloud or WD tends to send updates, um, you know, every now and then, and it's always good to have that automatically switched on. We're gonna hit next, and MyCloud.com is gonna set up our account. Great, so now MyCloud has sent us an email. Let's check our email. Okay, so once you've clicked that link, you want to create a password. Obviously, make sure this is a secure password as this will give access to your cloud device. So you want to make sure it's not just one, two, three, you know, my cloud or something. So give it a long password. I recommend putting in, you know, maybe, you know, some digits in there, uh, capital letters, just to change it up a bit. Once you've chosen your password, hit create password and my cloud will start building your account. Great, so we're all set, ready to go. We're gonna click here to sign into our my cloud. Great, so once that's all done, we're actually gonna sign in with the same details that we made to set up our my cloud device. 
Okay, so now we're actually inside our cloud, which is really amazing. We can access our MyCloud through this web browser at mycloud.com anywhere in the world at any time, which is really amazing. So we can upload new documents, download documents as well. Really, whatever files that we have stored on our MyCloud, we can actually access at any time. Now, please note though, this is just the web browser. So obviously we're limited and we're restricted through the web browser itself. But if you really wanted to tweak the sentence of your MyCloud drive, what you want to do is head over to mycloud.local. Okay, so now this is our home page. Now from here, we can actually have a brief overview of our MyCloud device, which gives us you know, storage capacity, how many users are connected at the time, cloud devices, and etc. Now from here, we can actually set up different users, which is also really handy. Sharing pages as well, which is also useful. We can create new folders in here to our MyCloud device and cloud access now in cloud access this is where we'll go to actually set up you know access uh, for our mobile devices tablets and other computers as well because obviously you have to give gain access to those devices so not that anyone can connect them to those drives at anywhere in the world Safe points is also an interesting feature as well, uh, which makes it really easy to sort of back up certain points of your documents just in case you know the hard drives do crash. You're going to have a certain point where you know it has backed up and be able to recover from a previous save point, which is really easy. Now, settings as well, which you can sort of go through. I won't go through everything, but from here, you can actually change your device names, passwords, locations, clock, cloud access, energy saver, and you have all these media settings, network settings, and notification settings as well. I recommend turning alert emails on um, because then you'll get notifications from MyCloud just in case if anything goes down with your drive. Well, so as you can see guys, it's really simple, really easy to get set up with your own cloud service. Now WD does a really great job with this, making it super easy, super quick and affordable as well to own something like this with the MyCloud drives. Now obviously they do have a bit more as well if you want a bit more features like the DL2100 series as well and they go up and depending how many bays and all that stuff. Uh, but it's a whole different ballpark. If you want something really simple, really easy and quick to get started with your own cloud servers, I highly recommend checking out the MyCloud drives. They're just super easy. They've got a really sleek interface. There's obviously other competitors out there on the market as well, which offer different features as well. But I find that the MyCloud service is just really simple, really easy. It does have a bit of features uh, which are lacking compared to some of the other companies out there. But at the same time, it does what it's supposed to do, which is just offer a cloud service, uh, upload your files, access it anywhere in the world at any time, and it's just super easy. Now, some of you guys might be asking, what about Google Drive, Dropbox, and all that stuff? Now, MyCloud actually does work with that, like with this companion app, it does a really great job in sort of locating all those stuff collated into one, which does, which is pretty amazing. I can access my DL2100 drive and also my MyCloud drive as well within that one app, which is pretty cool, and also my Google Drive and Dropbox. Uh, so that's really cool, really easy to get started. But at the same time, it's great to have stuff locally. It just makes this, you know, transferring data across really easy. Uh, obviously, depending on your upload speed, it's going to determine how fast you can download stuff, depending where you are in the world and stuff. Um, you know, because if you're downloading something like a huge file, it's obviously going to go slow or fast depending on your upload speeds at home where the drive is. Other than that, if you're looking to get started with your own cloud service, I highly recommend checking out the MyCloud. Super easy, super quick, and also just fun to have, I think, just to have your own cloud. Oh yeah, you know, I forgot that file, no worries. Boom, 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 send, boom, done. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again guys for my subscribers for watching. If you are new to my channel, uh, make sure to subscribe as well as I put out other great content like this as well on this channel. Uh, every now and then, I like to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.